I felt for sure that you were gonna pull a last year and ruin the surprise for our New York Comic Con exclusive. Don't remind me of that. I, I, I am. Don't, no, I remember don't. when we were live? Yeah, I And remember. you said Gargoyle Ghastly? I'm gonna get a Mission Toys logo tramp stamp tattoo if we send him a Gargoyle Ghastly. It's not the dumbest thing I've ever done. No, but it's pretty close. Go ahead, just spit it out. What are we What are we putting out for New York Comic Con? What is it? Our exclusives for this year? Mm -hmm. We're gonna be doing Okay, why do your hands smell like cheese? So there were a bunch of New York Comic Con leaks and it makes me wonder like where the hell all of these are coming from? I don't know if these are all gonna be at like GameStop or if they're all gonna be at Target, like if this is a lineup somewhere, but how do people get their hands on this I don't know. Is Funko like the only company with store exclusives that just end up in people's hands way earlier than they're supposed to? I mean, to be fair, we focus all of our time and energy on Funko. I'm asking the question, what, do you know if any other companies do this? Like, does this happen with other companies aside from Funko? Because this, like, full picture of stuff is mind-blowing. This is a lot of things in the same picture being leaked at one time. I don't think this has ever happened before. Like this amount. I can't confirm or deny that. Typically you see like one single Funko Pop by itself leaked and then you get like a, a handful of photos. This is all of them at once. Well, it's not all of them. Well, I mean a lot of them at once. So based off what I'm seeing, this New York Comic Con is not gonna be too bad. Like I kinda like what I'm seeing here. I'm not gonna buy all of them. Although I do see three different Funko Pops that I am totally going to need from New York Comic Con. And I actually didn't even see that during STCC. I barely wanted anything from that drop. Yeah, I didn't really want much of anything from San Diego besides like the Jessica Rabbit soda, the Powerpuff Girls, Fairly Odd Parents. You wanted way too much. Yeah, I actually did want a lot from San Diego. <laughs> Was there anything in this photo that looked like something you'd want? Because I don't see anything here that you would want. No. Okay, I didn't think so. I, when I looked at this photo, I was like, you know what, this is not a Heather drop, mm. at least out of these items. Yeah. Although there might be something hidden that's gonna be totally for you. I really hope that there's like a horror pop or two. Well, let's start with a pop that's similar to like a horror character. It's Toxic Avenger, glow in the dark. This thing is Cool. It's very cool. I am so glad that we're getting a Toxic Avenger Funko Pop. It's from the film. Now, I just want to say Funko. If there is any way possible ever that you can get the Toxic Avenger cartoon characters as Funko Pops, that would be super sick. And I think Super 7, speaking of Super Sick, they're making those cartoon characters into Super 7 figures. Okay, so just buy them from Super 7, bro. Well, no, but I want the Funko Pops, and I think that they would look really great in Funko Pop form. Well, yeah, all cartoon characters look amazing in Of course Funko they Pop do. Form. Of course. But this Toxic Avenger is amazing. You've never seen the film. No. I've watched it, but it's been a long time ago. I want to see this. Like, I want to watch the film again, but they're remaking the movie. And people were sort of up in arms. I'm not hearing people talk about it too much. Is it going to be good or bad? Well, Peter Dinklage is going to be the Toxic Avenger. That's fun. It's interesting. Yeah. I think that's really cool. I, I can't so wait too. to see it because it's a completely different spin on the story. I like when they do different things, you know? Especially things that you don't expect. So in this photo, there's a Santa Jack and a Pumpkin King? Yeah, so those are Entertainment Earth exclusives. Are they scented stickers? I don't stickers? know much about them. Yeah, they are scented. I have the feeling that Pumpkin King is going to smell like pumpkin pie spice and Santa Jack will smell like peppermint. Ooh, you know what? You're probably on to uh, something probably with that. I probably am. I always am. I'm always really right about What do you think everything. about these pops? They're cool, but how many Jack Skellingtons do we need? Can you remind me what the Pumpkin King is? What you're seeing is Jack. It's like a scarecrow almost when you go into Halloween Town. But is, is that actually Jack himself? I don't believe it's Jack, but it's supposed to represent Jack. Oh, it's a representation refers, of the character. He refers to himself as the Pumpkin King. You know it's a musical, right? Nightmare Before Christmas? Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I cannot stand that movie. I, for whatever reason, I could not get into Nightmare Before Christmas. It's a great movie, but one of the songs, he says, and I'm Jack, the Pumpkin King. I don't know why he's a pumpkin king because he's not a pumpkin. Do you think he grows pumpkins and he's really good at it? And like at the fair, he always wins like biggest and best pumpkin or something. Like why is he the pumpkin king? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't 
fucking like this movie, can I, so can we move on? I've seen it a million times and I feel like I should know this, but I don't. Is this Garfield with a cauldron? The photo is so blurry, I can't figure out what it is. It looks like a cauldron, but I think we're way off. Or is it maybe him holding like a bag to get candy? for Halloween. It doesn't look like he's dressed in a costume. He's got a weird hat on. He's got on. a hat. Right. It doesn't mean that's a costume. Hold on. When you look in his hand, it looks like a fish's tail. Is he wearing sunglasses? No, they're not sunglasses. That's, that's his, his eyes. eyes. I don't know what's going on here. Me neither. Yeah, I have no idea what the f is going on with this hat and this cauldron thing. I don't know what this is. I want a clear photo so I can figure it out. It wouldn't be a homeless Garfield, would it? I mean, it could be. I mean, it looks like he does have a fish in his hand, but I don't know. Well, what if it's like a like a trash bag full of his stuff because he doesn't have a place to sleep because the hat looks a little bit raggedy in the picture. I think his ear's coming out of the hat. No, I don't. Is it? Yeah, I think it's his ear, isn't it? I don't think so. So right after we made this video, photos circulated that are very clear images of these Funko Pops. So the Garfield is at a cauldron and like stirring it yeah. with, with a witch hat. It's really weird though, because the hat doesn't look like a witch hat, but maybe it's like sort of flopped to the side. Yeah, but his ear's coming out of it. Yes, and I didn't think that was his ear, but it definitely is. And you thought he had a fish in his hands, but that's just him stirring, it's like a big spoon. Y yeah, it's a weird shaped spoon though. Doesn't that not look like a fish tail? It does look like a fish tail. Okay. But I don't, I don't know where this derives from, because I tried to look up Garfield like witch, and I didn't find anything. I found a witch character from a TV show that has Garfield in it. I found it right away. I looked up Garfield witch yesterday, or witch, oh, you know what? I looked up Garfield witch hat. So I found it right away. I don't know what it's from. But, but it's a Garfield witch. Yeah, here's a, here's a picture of Garfield okay. as a witch. All right, well, that's cool. I like that one a lot. I think that's a cool Funko Pop. It's yeah. very different, and I like anything that's Halloween inspired. Whoa, here's a sexy uh, Garfield okay. witch. Okay. Actually, he might be like a wizard. He's got stars on his outfit. That's hot. There's Odie as a as a pumpkin. Oh my god, we need Odie as a pumpkin. That's badass. Okay, what the, why don't we have that? I don't know. They should have released that too. Man, what are they doing? Nothing good, I'll tell you what. But here's one of the ones that I'm definitely getting. It's the High Evolutionary. Duh. From Guardians 3. This is such a cool pop. I'm glad we have it. However, oh, I no. really wish that this was a common one and there was one with his face being ripped off as a con exclusive. You're onto something. I know I'm on it. I'm always on Why something. Why doesn't Funko say, hey, Chris, what's up? Listen, I need some ideas for pops because we're running really low. We got all this anime stuff and like, that's cool. People love it, but it's sort of boring when you get Vegeta and um, what's another anime? Demon Slayer, I don't know. Demon, just say Demon Slayer. And Demon Slayer all the time. Man, that is like a million dollar idea. I'll give you five bucks for it, thanks. Can we take that part of the video out? It was really dumb. People would really love my phone call to Chris Gass from Funko. No. That is a great idea. It is a great idea, I know. I, I was there. It. You know what's not great? That what? weird hair you have under that hat. I got good hair, are you kidding me? It's weird. It's really weird when it's been under your hat all day. Look at this. <laughs> I don't think I need to be put on blast right now with my cool hat. Listen, I'm gonna be blasting you later with my farts. Indiana Jones. It, I don't know what he's doing. It looks like he's using his whip, but I'm just not sure exactly what he's doing here, but it looks like a cool f pop and it I'm looks getting- like he's doing this. Exactly, like he's whipping or doing something. So the Indiana Jones Funko Pop has a clearer photo also. And this came out a day after we filmed this video and it's Indiana Jones with snakes. So we knew that he was gonna have snakes around him because we had a printed out list of leaked stuff, like information, and it mentioned Indiana Jones with snakes and we couldn't figure out what that meant. So he's not holding a whip, instead he has a torch in his hand and he has snakes at his feet. Oh, I like that. That's a really cool Funko Pop, so I'm super excited specifically about this Indiana Jones. So this is a super sick version of Indiana Jones. I love the snake at his feet. He's got that little cobra, isn't that cool? Yeah, it's weird, it looks like he's looking at his Okay. Does it not? Thanks, Heather, yeah. Does it not? Yeah, no, no, it looks good, thanks. I love me some Indiana Jones. By the way, the new film is out on digital, and don't you come in here, play a hatin' on that Indiana Jones movie because it was awesome. So what's up? That's from our friend Kevin LaFranc. He sent me and my dad posters. You're probably feeling like you wish you had one, didn't you? Well, guess what? You ain't getting one. Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. If adventure has a name, it must be Indiana Jones. 
This gave me a broner. It's sort of weird that you're gifting your dad something that gave you a broner. No, no, no. Our friend Kevin gave me this. He's my bro, and he gave me a broner. Yeah, and you're still giving your dad one. I mean, that's weird. No, it's not. I'm not, I'm not giving my dad a broner. No. What if he gets one when he gets that picture? Well, I can't control his broner. This is getting really weird. All right, and then we have the two uh, Looney Tunes Funko Pops. It's Sylvester the Cat as Slytherin and Lola Bunny as Ravenclaw. Did you call that? that I knew that, these that he that Sylvester would be Slytherin. I don't know about Lola, but I may have. No, I said Lola was going to be a Hufflepuff. That's what I said. Here's something that people have been talking about, and I'm in full agreement. A what? lot of these Funko Pops are coming out in these 100-year boxes, and the 100-year boxes are horrible. There's a 300 set coming out. They're all in these 100 boxes what and they mean? look horrible. They're 100 year like WB boxes. But you just said 300. I'm confused. What are There's you a film called 300. Oh, from the film. It's a 300 set and they're putting it in a 100 box. It doesn't make any sense, right? I mean, well, I mean, it does, but it doesn't. It's sort of funny. It's dumb. It's really like stupid. That. And honestly, Funko or WB, whoever's out there listening, can we just do away with the 100-year boxes? Can we put, like, the 100 somewhere? Maybe make it a sticker? You should have made it a sticker on the box. People love stickers. The sticker would have been amazing. Could have well, just put a little circle sticker so there. So many people would buy that. Why not? I mean, instead you make the whole box. So now you have all these 100 year WB Funko Pops that are just all stacked up together. And it's a bunch of mismatched characters. I f***ing hate these and everybody else is in agreement. So we should do away with them pronto. You mean the boxes, not the, the boxes. Slytherin Sylvester. I honestly don't care about these pops. Personally. Okay, well f*** you too. Very aggressive. I have too many pops. I gotta be very selective. But these are right up your alley, and this Looney Tune character. I don't has. care about Looney Tunes. Well, the last thing on the list: Demon Slayer, Funko Pops, Mac, M Mac Omo, and Sabito. Maximo, I think. No, it's Macomo. M a k o m o. Oh, and Sabito. Macomo. Macomo. Macomo and Sabito. How's that? Is that right? Oh, it is Macomo. So I know anime fans are going to be happy with that two pack set. Well, at least the Demon Slayer fans. They seem to be very popular Funko Pops. Like, that series seems to be very popular. Yeah, people love Demon Slayer. People love... Anime. Anime! Anime! Okay, I regret that. Yeah, people do love anime and people do love Demon Slayer. Cool looking Funko Pops. I like that one is wearing a mask and the other one has the mask sort of off their face. Yeah, it's cool. It's a cool two-pack. It's really cool. So Indiana Jones, High Evolutionary, and the Toxic Avenger. They're, they're the three I'm definitely getting. I know that you really want the Sylvester as a Slytherin because you're a Slytherin and you love kitty cats, especially black tuxedo kitty cats. Yeah, we do have a black tuxedo kitty cat and he is awesome. He's adorable and I bet you he would not be a Slytherin. Oh, he's a slither. No, he's not. You're telling me that is not a Slytherin with his claws out like that? His claws aren't out. They are They are out. Look at he, his claws. They're not out like They're out. out. What are you talking about? Chris, that's like saying that my fingernails are out. He's tearing the f***ing couch up, Heather. He doesn't give a f He was trying to get your attention. He wasn't trying to get my attention. He was trying to ruin our furniture. No, he wasn't. He does that when he's on top of the furniture. Exactly, he's ruining it. He's not it. on top of it. He's standing. Uh, well, if this is just a preview or sneak peek of what's coming for NYCC, I'm excited. I think this is a pretty decent lineup. It is, and I like that there's so much variety. Now, even though there's nothing that, like, screams Heather. I'm the only one that screams Heather. Okay. I am really digging it. I feel like there will be something for everybody this New York Comic Con, and I'm excited to see what the rest of this lineup holds. So what do you guys think about all these leaks? I mean, it's a pretty long like list of leaks in one photo. I can't believe how many pops are in this picture of leaks. Yeah. This is insane. Maybe it's a GameStop employee taking a picture of all the GameStop exclusives, but as I said before, it does not feel like a lineup at GameStop to me. All right, so what do you think about this lineup? Are you excited? Are you not excited? We want to know all that and more in the comment section down below. We also want to know if you're going to New York Comic Con, because if you are, you can come and see 
see us. We'll be at the Mischief Toys booth. Come and check us out. More information about our exclusives to come very soon. Thank you guys so much for staying until the very end of the video. We really appreciate all of your support in every video. We like to shout out to some of our patrons from Patreon. In this video, we'd like to shout out to Richard Perez, Calvin Lee, Derek, Tino Maldonado, Joshua G, Michael Petrino, Joseph Mayfield, Brian, Tony Hagman, and Greg F. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons. You guys rock.